Welcome back Farmingdale High School. This is Dr. Thompson and we are really excited to present our grade level assemblies to all the grades today. Um, things are a little different, so we're going to do these in a recorded version so that we can get all of this important information to you guys on this wonderful Friday. You've already reached your first Friday of the school year, so congratulations. But in the meantime, a lot of important people and a lot of important messages are going to come to you in these grade level assemblies, and I'll begin with a few here right now. So. This is a new beginning for all of us. This is new, uncharted waters, unprecedented times, territory that is um, being mapped out as we speak. Yes, everyone is at a new starting point, and that is a wonderful place to be right now because you're going to set your path this year. That means there are new protocols in the building you're going to hear about. Three, probably, you're going to hear more than anyone can afford to say it. Wash your hands and maintain good personal hygiene. Wash your hands often. Maintain six feet social distancing. And finally, keep your face mask on. Wear masks at all times. Why? This is the way we're able to return in person. This is the way we're able to maintain school in person. If we have a breakout, an outbreak rather, of COVID in our building, it will lead to a shutdown. If we enjoy being here in person, we have to adhere to the guidelines. Wash your hands often, maintain six feet, keep your mask on. My mask is here, I'm delivering this address by myself. I'm gonna invite Mr. Herman and Mrs. Martinez to come into the podium and say some, a few things to you. But again, wear your mask. It is required in the building. It's actually required on the buses, at the bus stop, in any school sponsored event, make sure that you have your mask on, make sure that you maintain six feet in our hallways and when you're traveling, and of course, wash your hands often. But those are messages you're gonna hear throughout the assembly, okay? That's our administrative team. So you're gonna hear from Mrs. Martinez, as I mentioned, and Mr. Herman. Mrs. Martinez is the assistant principal for grades 10 and 11 this year, our sophomores and juniors. Mr. Herman is the assistant principal for grades 9 and 12 this year, our freshmen and seniors. You will hear from them shortly, but that is your building administration. You can come to us at any time. Our doors are always open or send us an email. So today we're going to listen to a little bit about our typical schedule, some of the new protocols and processes that are in place. Um, our first day of class is Tuesday, September 8th. That is for our Group 1 students, and hopefully by now, you've already successfully come to school both Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Today, as Friday, September 11th, we should have our Group 2 students in attendance, okay? So you guys who are at home in Group 1, um, you've made it successfully through our first two days of school. You guys who are in today on Group 2, this is your second day of school, but school moves every day that we are in session. So you'll hear more about that when we get to that slide. That's where we are on Twitter. If you have a Twitter handle, at FHS Dailers, and you will see all of the things that we celebrate in the building posted there. Not a lot of um, announcements, not a lot of um, politics, but you will certainly see all of the things that we're celebrating, all of the accomplishments we're proud of, all of the achievements. At FHS Dailers, follow us on Twitter. We like to use the hashtag Dailer Pride. So new um, protocol for arrival. When you come to the building and you're being dropped off by the pool in that senior lot is another term we had for that location. You're walking to school. This is one of your entrances and this has been designated for grades nine and 10. Ninth grade sophomores, uh, freshmen and sophomores are coming in at this door, which used to be used for the community pool door. There's also another door for our ninth and 10th graders, and that is through the custodial um, office or past the custodial office. There's an access door here. It lets you in by the large cafeteria, by the wrestling room also, and the teacher's cafeteria. So this door is also designated for ninth and 10th grade, and you can come in there in the morning. But before you enter our doors, or as you enter our doors, there'll be temperature screenings, and that's a new protocol this year. If you have a temperature above 100.0, you're not going to be permitted in the building. Someone will have to come and get you, and you'll be in a care room 
uh, temporarily until they're able to come and get you. But you cannot attend school with a fever. If you're sick, stay home. If you already know the night before or that morning you woke up with a fever, stay home. These are different days and times. If you're sick, stay home. This is a typical group one, group two, and remote schedule. So, group one and group two have been coming in this week on alternating schedules. We started on Tuesday with our group one students. On Wednesday, we had our group two students. On Thursday, we went back to group one. So what was the group two students doing on Thursday? They were still continuing education remotely. They are expected to still log in. Our group one students, what were you doing on Wednesday? You are still following your daily schedule of classes. Whatever your first period class time is, that's when you're expected to be logged in because otherwise it's an absence in attendance. And attendance is a big deal this year and it's going to be logged daily. So if your teacher was expecting you to be logged into Schoology and to complete an assignment or um, work collaboratively on a Google Classroom assignment, a, a Google document rather, not a Google Classroom assignment, but a document that you had some shared collaboration with your classmates on, you need to be logged in at that time that your class meets. Keep that in mind this year. That's a, a shift from the spring. So our first period class starts at about 747, I think, or 743, I'm not sure. At that time, if you have a first period class, you need to be logged in, okay? Now, the rotation is group one one day, group two the other. And the other group is at home working remotely on those days, if you're in group one or group two. If you're in group three, you are considered in school every day, and there are different needs as to why you would be in school every day. But group three is in every day. If you are in group four, you are remote at all times. So you're home all the time until at least the first semester is over, and uh, there'll be a decision at that time as to whether you're coming back in person or not. But keep that in mind, that's our groupings. It was already mailed in a district-wide mailing, so I'm sure you're familiar. And if you're here by now on Friday, you're certainly familiar with the rotation. And then the alternate day schedule gets a little tricky if you had a class that met every other day, like phys ed or like your science lab. That's gonna meet two days in a row because we have two different groups of students in the building on those two days. So your A day follows an AABB rotation. If you have an A day, B day class, it meets twice in a row, but again, instruction continues to move. So on the first day of school, even though it was an A day and group two was at home, they still logged in for their A day instruction on that Tuesday. And then, they came in person to phys ed for the first time on Wednesday and our group one students still logged in for a second day of instruction with group A, okay? So we have an A day, A, A, B, B rotation for the A, B alternate day rotation. Gets a little tricky only for your alternate day scheduled courses. Next, we had some different um, adjustments to make with regard to your bus transportation arrivals. Um, we talked about where you arrive if you're walking to school or you're getting dropped off. Your buses are a little easier. They all meet in the back of the building in the bus lot. So you have three access points for the building back there. Two are by the tunnels. One is by the original spot where everyone came in by the South Gym. Again, two by the tunnels. You can go either left or right. And one is down by uh, the South Gym entrance where you used to come in. You're still going to temperature screen there upon entering. And there'll be um, team members there just taking your temperature to make sure it's not above 100, and then you're gonna scan in with your ID, okay? Anyone who's walking to school or taking a bus will still scan in with your student IDs. So there's one of the locations by the tunnels, so you can go either right or left there, and on your next slide, that's your South Gym location that we've, we've always used. So the front of the building, we used to have arrival for our minibuses, and that will still be used for minibus arrival. You guys will have your own set of temperature screenings occurring there if you're coming off a minibus. And this next slide refers to um, the two different groups that I mentioned earlier. It is alphabetized by household. That's all you have to know about that. But you should already know what your groups are according to your schedule. So this year we implemented a number of different safety protocols um, because of COVID-19, because of the guidelines from the state, guidelines from the Department of Health, 
and guidelines from the Center for Disease Control, CDC. All of those organizations gave us ways to open safely that we implemented to make sure we could all be back in person. One of the things is that the passing time had to be increased a little bit. This gives you more time for the one-way directional hallways. You have one-way directional hallways, meaning your first and third wings both go to the back. Your second wing, you can come up towards the commons from there. But only through the second wing can you come from the back of the building, which is where um, the shops are, to the front. The first and third wings, which are the 130s hallways and the 150s, go toward the back of the building to where the shops are. Um, we, I talked about, I didn't mention that we have, uh, I talked about six feet distancing and masks, but we also implemented a staggered dismissal. So when the bell rings to end the period, teachers may tell you, stay in your seat unless you're in the first row. This allows people to be dismissed with, with uh, six feet distancing. You may be told, stay in your seat unless you're an even numbered row. That allows six feet distancing upon exit. And then at the end of the day, you're gonna see a slide here also that talks about a staggered dismissal. Um, we are using tensa barriers to close off areas like the commons, and you'll hear that talked about later from Mr. Mason. And we are also prohibiting bathrooms so that because we don't have the ability to monitor in between periods, you can't go in the bathroom until the bell rings. They will be locked in between periods, and I mentioned commons is going to be prioritized for students who have lunch that period because of the overflow. All of these protocols have impacted the schedule of the day. You should already have been, or, or you've been following for two days at least, the schedule um, for, or the adjustments that we made to the schedule. I mentioned this, six feet distancing, maintain six, uh, six feet in the hallways and, and, and with your um, classmates. Wash your hands often, maintain good hygiene, and finally, masks are required, but you do get mask breaks. Mask breaks can occur in zones that are designated in a classroom for a mask break zone. It can occur outside of the classroom if the teacher gives you a pass to go to somewhere. We have two locations outside the building, one outside the cafeteria, cafeteria A, the small cafeteria one, outside the courtyard near the 150s hallway or the third wing. There's another area where you can step outside for a mask break. Um, you need permission. You need permission to go to those locations and you need permission in the classroom if a teacher tells you you can drop your mask for a minute. But for the, for the um, navigating the hallways, for transportation on the bus, uh, masks are required at all times and only with permission from direct instruction or supervision can you take a mask break. Lunch. Our lunch periods have been adjusted a little bit. All that we're offering is still the same and that's good news. But for you guys that are working remotely on the following day, you can pick up lunch in small cafeteria, cafeteria A, to take home with you for the following day. So there's a grab and go system for anyone that's accessing our school lunch menu and needs a meal for the following day because they're working remotely. I talked about staggered dismissal from period to period instruction. There's also staggered dismissal at the end of the day. At 204, our freshmen get to leave first because they will take the longest to get out of the building. They're still learning the building. So they leave as soon as the bell rings along with transportation students. Then, two minutes later, our sophomores can leave. After them, our seniors and our juniors at 208, they will be dismissed, okay? Transportation, you guys leave right away. Freshmen, you leave right away. So with all of that said, I wanna wish everyone the best year that they can have. It is a new year, it is new for everyone. It will take a couple of weeks before we stabilize. There is a lot that is shaking out with all of the new protocols. I just ask for everyone to be patient and flexible. Maintain daily attendance with your classes. Keep your masks on and we're gonna have an awesome and safe year. Best of luck everybody. It's good to see everyone back in the building in person. Have a good year. Remember, always wear your mask. Hello everyone and good morning. I'm Mr. Herman. I am the ninth grade assistant principal and I'm introducing myself to many of you freshmen for the first time. We are very excited to have you in the building. For the seniors, congratulations, you made it this far. Uh, I look forward to working with you once again this year and I look forward to working with you as you get closer to achieving your goals and walking out of this building and moving on to bigger and better things. 
So with that, let's go over a few of our, our, our rules this year, a few of the things that are important to you that I need to discuss so we can ensure that we have a good year, okay? The first thing I'd like to talk to you about today is absences. Now clearly, absences is not something new and it's not something you haven't heard before, but absences is something that's really important for you to pay attention to. For freshmen, the way you start your year off is really important because bad habits are hard to break. And when you are absent one day a week, that could be up to 40 times a year. 40 times a year is eight weeks of instruction you could miss. So here's a rule of thumb. If you're not sick, come to school. If you are sick, please stay home for your safety and the safety of others. And seniors, you know, you need to be here to pass all of your classes so that you can graduate. You haven't graduated yet, seniors. You need to take your studies seriously. Yes, that includes passing gym. Gym is an important class and you cannot graduate if you do not pass it. School ID. This is not new. This is something that we implemented last year. Another one of the district safety goals is to make sure that students have an identifiable, identifiable ID on them at all times. No, you cannot have it in your pocket. No, you cannot have it in your backpack. It must be worn. It must be visible at all times. Please, you'll need it when you scan into the building in the morning. Please do not forget, we do not want to have to consistently remind you and or give you a consequence for failing to adhere to our directives. Another thing that is not new to you, of course, there is no smoking or vaping in the building. Um, vaping was an epidemic and still is an epidemic, right? But we've made massive strides to curtail it in this building. It is not allowed in this building. You are not to allowed to carry the paraphernalia. You are not allowed to have um, pods or jewel pods or any type of vaping contraband on you, on your person, in your bag, in this building, okay? If you use a vape device in this building, there will be strict consequences. And folks, folks let's talk about the health risks, right? Who wants to inhale some chemicals that we don't know anything about into their body and we don't know the long-term implications and the risk associated with them? Please, treat yourselves better. You deserve better. Don't follow any of these trends. Please do not vape. Please do not do anything harmful to your bodies. Take care of yourselves, okay? We need you healthy. We need you in the building. We need you in school. In addition, for those of you in ninth grade, you don't know this, I am the DASA coordinator. DASA stands for the Dignity for All Students Act. It is a law in New York State. It is here to provide support for students to protect them against all harassment and or bullying we are here to protect you, okay? So we all have a job in this, right? We have a role. My role is to investigate all claims of harassment, intimidation, or bullying. Your responsibility is to report all of those incidents to me. I can't fix things if I don't know about it. You have a responsibility to inform me of anything that's going on that is bullying, harassment, and or intimidation. And for my older kids, for my seniors, you have a responsibility to set a tone in this building, right? You are older. You have to show people what a good dealer looks like in this building. It is not okay to, to tease younger kids. There's no such thing as Freshman Friday in this building. It is important for you to carry yourselves with respect at all times. Your responsibility is to treat others with kindness. And let's hope for a good year, right? There are many opportunities that we want to have for you in this building, okay? Our first goal was to get you back into this building safely. We are accomplishing that goal. Our next goal is to keep you in this building throughout the year. But you guys play a major role in that, right? You need to conduct yourselves in a proper manner. You need to follow recommendations from the CDC when it talks about social distancing or wearing a mask. Guys, we cannot have you congregating in large amounts at any time, okay? And that means no field, that means no woods. You play a role in how long we get to be in this building and how many of the opportunities you get to have this school year. Please, I implore you, if we catch you on school grounds after business hours, you will be consequenced. And do it out of respect for everyone else. Stay off school grounds when you have no business here. Get involved. My freshmen, please get involved. There are so many opportunities here at Farmingdale High School for you to get involved in. Now granted, the way we deliver some of those services may look a little different this year because some of it will be done online, but that doesn't mean it goes away. We're not gonna be in this forever. Please get involved. And I've said this in the freshman orientations, 
Be the kid in high school that makes your family proud. Be the kid that you know you are inside. You do not have to be that kid you were in middle school. Middle school is over. This is high school. You can reinvent yourself. You can do and be the person you want to be here. Please, I implore you, let's get the best out of you. Let's get you closer to your dreams and your accomplishments so we can get you out of here in a couple years and we, you can get on with your lives. Thank you very much, guys. My name is Mr. Herman. I'm the ninth and 12th grade assistant principal. If you need anything, please come down and see me. Have a good year. Hello, everyone. We're very excited to have everyone back in our building. I am Mrs. Martinez. I'm the 10th and 11th grade assistant principal. We welcome everyone back. We're happy that we're all together once again. To our freshmen, welcome to the high school. You're gonna love it here. Just a couple of tips from me in order to make your year successful. The first thing that I wanted to share with you is that we want you to be here and be organized. This year, we have brand new agenda books, the shared decision-making committee, was able to come together last year and with all of the input from the students we were able to get new agenda books you will be receiving one please make sure that you keep track of all of your assignments and your exam dates make sure you write everything down in order to be able to stay organized while you're here the other thing that we want to mention to you is masks we have mentioned it multiple times throughout this video just make sure that when you're wearing your mask you cover your nose as well as your mouth This protects you and protects those around you. We also want to make sure that you know that we're here to help you. There's so many people within the building that you can lean on if you need some assistance. Please make sure you find your guidance counselors, the school psychologists, the grade level deans, the social workers, and our offices are here as well. And we're always here to help and assist you. Make sure that you join an activity. There's so many activities within the building, and yes, they may look a little bit different at the start of the school year, but they're still here for you. There will be support and help for you if you need any homework assistance. We will have something. It's just going to look a little bit different this year. We're really excited that you're here. Please remember that you are dealers, and so we expect you to conduct yourselves in an appropriate manner inside and outside of our building. Remember, social media will never erase anything that you post. Therefore, think before you post. You don't want something that'll come back to haunt you years later. We wanna wish you a wonderful school year and we look forward to seeing all of those smiling faces. Thank you guys so much and I look forward to meeting each and every one of you. Good Friday morning, everyone, and welcome to the high school. Uh, ninth grade is a nice way to start this year, um, and maybe a different way than most ninth graders have started this year, but I think that we will, in the end, make the best of it. So I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm going to tell you that four years from now, I would like to be at one single graduation without a mask, without any signs telling me what direction and how far I have to stand away from one another. Um, and that's what I want to be the goal for all of us. So in lieu of saying that, I, I would like to, to just encourage everybody that the way that we reach that goal is to follow what the protocol has been set before us now, which is a little bit annoying, but we have to make the best of it if we all eventually want to be back in this building together and being able to see each other face to face instead of uh, through a video camera. So. I would say that there's three major things that we have to follow here, especially as ninth graders in the building. Attend all your classes, whether it's a remote day or an in-school day, even um, study halls count, so please make sure that you sign in. When you are in the building, please follow all the directions in the hallways and by any faculty member. Um, and lastly, I'm just going to keep this short, is please make sure that you keep your mask on at all times, that you wash your hands, and most importantly, that you are kind to one another, that your actions and your words do have an effect on everybody that you're in contact with. And hopefully we will create great memories and have a enjoyable four years together and one single graduation at Hofstra where we can all actually talk to each other up close and personal. Good luck. Thank you. Welcome back, 10th grade. First of all, let me congratulate you guys for making it to 10th grade. I normally would not say that because moving on is an expectation. However, you guys were the youngest people in the building as freshmen and a very unique virus, one that was different from anything 
that this country's ever seen before. And you guys found a way to succeed. So great job, class of 2023. A new year brings new challenges, and you guys are definitely up for it. So I am asking you guys to remember, please remember your ID cards, wear your masks, keep social distancing, wash your hands, Say, say safe and be kind to one another. That includes in person as well as on social media. Keep up with all your schoolwork. Make a great first impression with all of your new teachers. Remember, we are all different. We have different family experiences. We may look different from each other or have different views on life. But one thing we all have in common is we are dailers. Stay safe, be kind, and work hard. All right, welcome back, everyone. My name is Mr. Mason, the 11th grade dean, and I just want to welcome everyone back to the school year. Uh, I just wanted to let you know first and foremost how proud I am that the way you finished the end of last school year during this difficult time and especially to the 11th graders, you have so many obstacles to overcome, but I'm sure you can do it. And you just have shown that you know throughout last school year. Attendance will be an important key to your success this school year. Attend school every day unless you are legally excused. Report to class on time and be prepared to learn. Work to the best of your ability. All right, food. Right. During your lunch period, please remember that social distancing guidelines will be applied. So remember to keep six feet apart and replace your mask after eating your meal. Unfortunately, no outside food orders will be accepted into the building. Right. Chick-fil-A and Chipotle will still be open after 204. So if you have the craving for those places, make sure you visit after school hours. All right, the commons. Unfortunately, the commons area, as you know it, will not be the same. Students will not be allowed to hang out in that area due to the virus, right? Study hall, all students that have a study hall will be required to stay in that location for the entire time. If you have study hall remotely, you are still required to check in during that time as well. Okay. Right, if you're working from home, remember to set up a space for yourself to work during sorry, to work daily from home. Create a daily schedule and routine that will support your success. If you have trouble with your Chromebooks or internet, you know, fill out the forms and notify your teachers immediately. All right, I'm wishing you all the best this school year and if any questions, make sure you stop by the Dean's office. Thank you. Good morning, class of 2021. Uh, I know we have some new uh, faces in the school this year. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Mr. Hebron, and I am the 12th grade dean. Um, first off, I'd like to say uh, how proud I am of you guys for the, for the work that you did while we were on uh, remote learning. You guys stepped up to the plate and did a really outstanding job. So uh, now we, we come back to your senior year, and I am excited that we are finally here. Um, it's, it's going to be a great year. It's going to be a different year, different from what you're used to. Um, but we're going to make this work. And if everybody does their part, uh, I'm sure it's going to be a, a very memorable year and a successful year. Uh, just a couple housekeeping things that I want to go over with you. Um, of course, we have to follow safety guidelines. Uh, make sure you're maintaining social distancing, uh, washing your hands, wear your masks. Guys, I know it's, it's not going to be easy, but um, it's, it's for everybody's health that we need to do this, uh, for your own and for the school staff. So please make sure you're following those guidelines. Um, please make sure every day that you have your ID and make sure you have it on you and use it when you use the restroom, the cafeteria, or the uh, library. Um, what I'm going to do is at some point you're going to receive a Schoology request to join just like our Google Classroom. Uh, my goal is to make sure all 451 seniors are on that Schoology because um, that's going to be a good source of information that I want you guys um, looking on there um, probably every, every day. So 
The other thing talking about internet is making sure that we are using um, the internet safely, making sure you think before you post, um, you are accountable for what you put on the internet. So please think twice before you put something on the internet uh, because if somebody is uh, upset by it, they certainly have the right to come down and report it and um, we really don't want to see that happen. You guys are the leaders of the school and we have an expectation that you act as role models for the underclassmen. So please uh, take that role seriously. Um, also with that senior privilege is driving. You guys are going to now be able to drive to school and park in the senior parking lot. Please be responsible when you're coming into the school lot and drive responsibly because you know we have cameras in the parking lot or if a security aid reports that you're driving recklessly, uh, we will not hesitate to take away that privilege. It's not a right, it's a privilege. So please use that wisely. Um, very simple, be kind to one another. You know, we're, we're in a turbulent time right now with everything that's going on and a small act of kindness can really go a long way. And, um, you know, I, I have sung your praises for the time since you've been in middle school to now that you're seniors. And I know this is gonna be a great year for you guys and uh, make sure that you do the right thing. And please, my door is open to you. So if you have any problems, any questions, please do not hesitate to come to my office, um, email me, call, uh, whatever it is that you need. All right, thank you and have a great year. Good morning, ninth graders. I'm here as one of the four psychologists in the building to welcome you. We know that, uh, especially being a ninth grader, that's a bit scary and overwhelming. It's, it's overwhelming for us, especially given the times that we live in. But you have a lot of support here. We all work as part of a team. And I say that as psychologists, but we have social workers, guidance counselors, deans and assistant principals and nurses, all of whom want to be here to make the next four years not only productive, but the happiest four years of your life. And it really has promised to be that. So I just encourage you to come and visit us. Um, we're all opposite the library the psychologists are. And it's not hard to make an appointment. Just stop by on your way to class um, so that we can set something up for a free period or for lunch. And that could be for anything, whether or not you're having trouble adjusting to the schedule, classes, the demands of the classes, family problems, peer problems. Really, we're there to, to help you to be really as, as productive and become the best versions of yourself. That's really our goal. And, and we really, as, as Mrs. Hughes had mentioned, being the dean, we want to be, all be at your graduation. The only thing I would plug, and I'll turn it over to my colleagues, is the Smile Club. If you see any advertisements, for the SMILE Club. SMILE stands for something more in life's experience. And it's a great place to meet new people, to have some fun. And it was designed for people who don't typically join clubs to be a form of, of really becoming a part of the Farmingdale community. So if you see anything come out, I hopefully will be on site at some point, but we're gonna do some things online and give us a chance to really uh, have some fun with you. Thank you. Um, hi everyone, it's Dr. Moretta, the 11th grade psychologist. Um, really looking forward to seeing everybody. Welcome back. Um, this is a little bit of an odd time, but just know that uh, I'm learning with you and I'm here to support you. If you've forgotten, my office is right behind the library. Uh, please stop by, uh, pay a visit, say hello, and if you need anything, I'm always available to help. Can't wait to see you guys. Hi, my name is Dr. Joe Volpe, and I am one of the psychologists here at the high school, and I'm working with 10th grade. I certainly met a lot of you last year during what I would consider one of the more difficult years, your freshman year. You made that transition. We just didn't expect it to end the way that it did, unfortunately, but we're back here, and it's important that you know that I remain a very important resource for you, along with the others that you can come down if other things get in the way, besides uh, maybe the struggle with some school, 
Certainly people come down for a lot of reasons, whether it be relationship issues or maybe some issues at home. I'm also there to help you stay organized and try to help your productivity because we know high school and everything you do here really counts. So uh, again, um, you can find us in the hallway where the library is. And although uh, certainly these times are challenging as far as social distancing, we'll make every effort to give you the support that you need. So again, welcome back to your sophomore year. Hi, good morning everyone, I'm Mrs. Goldman. I'm your 12th grade school psychologist. Um, many of you may already know me, but I just wanted to say um, congratulations on being seniors and welcome back. Um, I know this school year may look a little different um, than years past or a little different than many of you guys may have pictured. Um, and you guys may have a lot of different feelings about that and that is okay. So right now what is important is that you know that there are people here in this building who are available to speak with you um, and you can let us know if you'd like to speak. Um, my office is located behind the library um, and so you know there's a number of different ways we can connect now. Um, whether you want to drop in or we can perhaps set up an appointment on Google Meet um, if you're learning remotely this year. But welcome back and congratulations again on being seniors. Hi, I'm Mrs. Vega. I'm Ms. Morales. And we're your school social workers and we're here for you to support you in any way we can, whether something's going on at home or maybe something's going on at school. We want you to know that we're here for you. We're located upstairs in room 203. We want you to please come down and say hi, and we wish you the best of this school year. Thank you.